bring my viewers with me, they would be incredibly mad if I didn't bring them, so. Hi, everybody. I am, like, super excited to be here. Never done anything like this. Uh, in case you don't know, I'm Roman Atwood, and I do pranks for a living. Um, I don't even know where to start. I didn't write anything. Never done this. But uh, I want to take you on a little journey, and I, I want to leave. My, my, the only thing I want to leave here with tonight is that you guys leave here with two words in your mind. Just two words, and I'm going to get to that. But uh, for now, I want to take you on a journey. Uh, a lot of people will always ask, how did I get big on YouTube? So I want to take you on that journey. I, uh, from junior high on, I love cameras. I love making videos, stupid videos. Nobody wants to watch these videos. They're terrible. Um, and I hated school. I just could not stand it. Um, my teachers never understood, you know, why don't you pay attention in school? And I just always said, this, this is not going to help me make stupid videos. Like, <laughs> I don't need to learn about World War II to make these videos. So as time passed, I got into high school, and these teachers were much more strict. Like, wake up. Why are you sleeping? And, and then again, I would say... You know, this algebra, I'm never going to use Algebra 3 to uh, make stupid videos that nobody wants to watch. <laughs> so, uh, I got out of high school, and uh, I got my wish. I didn't pay attention in school. My teachers told me if I didn't go to college, I'd never make it, I'd never be anybody. So I got my wish. I got out of school, and now all I had was these stupid videos I wanted to make. No education, no college. Um... So I, I, I met a girl in high school, and I married her. I married her 18 years old. I got married. And uh, I started making these stupid videos, went nowhere. I got to support a wife. I got an apartment. So I joined the workforce. I worked at a factory. For years, 10 years passed, I was still at this factory. I got so distracted with what I wanted to do, I used to actually tear up and cry at this factory because I wasn't making these videos. It was that passionate to me. Um, so I got my big break. This guy I know calls, he says, hey, I want you to fly out to LA and work on a movie. I'm like, wow, awesome. So I get there, it's this little low budget independent thing. It's not a movie at all. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, let's just warp a year ahead. When I was on that LA trip, my wife cheated on me. I didn't find out for a year. It was the worst, most devastating time of my life. I hated life. I got so down on myself, I was making the, the worst decisions you can make. Um, it was just horrible. But what it got me to, it got me to where I was motivated. I got so angry at life that I was going to make these videos no matter what. I don't care if I go broke doing it. I got nothing now to lose. So I start making these stupid videos. And uh, I remember putting my first video on YouTube, because when I graduated high school, YouTube wasn't around. So I put up my first video, and I couldn't understand why it didn't go viral, because my video is the best. Why do I have 10 views in 24 hours? Like, everybody's got millions of views on YouTube. So I put up 60 videos in one year, dedicated. Every single Tuesday, I would put up a video. And sometimes I'd do a bonus video for my... Loyal 12 fans. <laughs> I hit 40,000 subscribers in one year, which to me was great. I was, I was famous. I was big time. And uh, I really should use the rest before I got here, but... <sighs> they told me I didn't have enough time to go. It was this right here that changed my life, this bottle of water. I thought it would be a great idea to take this to the streets in front of police officers. <laughs> All over the country. Because I knew everybody would say, well, you should do that in New York City, man. Dope. You up, you know? So like, All right, we're going to New York City. So we did it. I held on to the video. I didn't upload it. I held on to it for almost a week. I was so nervous to upload this video. I put it up, and uh, we did 10 million views that week on that video. So in one year, I had 40,000 subscribers. 
and a week later had 200,000 subscribers. So I, I instantly become a YouTuber after over a year. Um, one month later, I released my shake weight video. Same concept, in front of the police. <laughs> I instantly became known for the guy that pranks police officers. I, I had a niche in the system, it was a niche. I was doing legal acts that looked completely illegal. <laughs> That's the greatest time of my life. But it was, it, so much came from being just positive about it. I, everybody told me, you can't do that. You can't do, you're going to go to jail. You can't do that. Everybody, you can't do that. You're going to jail. No, I ain't going to jail. I ain't going to jail. Nobody's taking me to jail. <laughs> but, uh, <sighs> being positive about what you love, even if it's, even if it's, you're not making money at it. If you're doing what you love, that's the greatest thing on the entire planet. Make money a byproduct of what you love. I remember coming to my dad, and I go, Dad, I made 58 cents on YouTube. 58 cents. I was like, and, he, and you know what he said? He said, well, it just goes to show you, you can make money on YouTube. <laughs> it's like, dang, Dad, that's awesome. 58 cents, I can almost buy something at McDonald's with that. So then I started, um, I started branching out and doing collabs with other YouTubers and being very productive. And it all boiled down to just doing what I love to do. I never, ever considered what I did for money. I never wanted it for money. I never did anything for money. I did it out of passion and heart. And uh, I launched a brand, and it's called Smile. This is my company, Smile One. I pushed it on everybody. And these are the two words I want to leave you guys with. Smiling more will change your life. It will make you all so much happier. It's a constant struggle for everybody, no matter how happy you are. We all battle different problems. And smiling, even if you have to force it upon yourself, even when you're alone, just smile. Look at yourself and smile. You can feel the chills come over your body. It's the greatest feeling in the world. And just fight it. It takes years. It may take your whole life to just be able to smile more. And that's really where I want to leave you guys. Just smile more. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me.